Do household baptisms teach that infant baptism is authorized, necessary? Well, the truth is, no, they don't. If you look at the subjects in the household baptism recorded in God's Word, you find that each one of them includes something that would exclude the idea of infants being baptized. For example, in the book of Acts, the 10th chapter, in verse 2, you find that Cornelius' household feared God. You find in the book of Acts, the 16th chapter, in verse 14 and 15, then again in verse 40, that Lydia's household were brethren who were comforted by the apostles. You find in the book of Acts, the 16th chapter, the jailer's household rejoiced believing in God after having the word of God spoken to them. You find in the book of Acts, the 18th chapter in verse 8, that Crispus household believed, again repeated in 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 14. Stephan's household addicted themselves to the mystery of the saints in 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 16, in, verse, in chapter 16 and verse 15. You see, each count of the infants being baptized shows that those who were spoken of in that household weren't infants. It's simply a ploy by individuals who want to bring to prominence in their denomination, whatever it may be, a doctrine that was not even conceived of for over 200 years after Jesus' death. Infants do not need to be baptized. They are pure and free from sin, according to the Lord in Matthew 18 and verse 1 through 3, except we become as little children, will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. He's not saying become as little sinners. He's talking about the purity of children, the simplicity of children. Infant baptism is not taught in the scriptures. If we can help you to study this matter further, we'd love to do that. Thank you for listening.